Well, hello there. Welcome to my shop. I am Buck. This is Sawdust Solution, and today we're going to be turning a new wooden mallet. I use wooden mallets to work on my chisels, carving and doing my dovetails and paring out. But this little fella has seen better days. We're going to turn us a new one. Stick with us, and I'll show you how we're going to do it. So I've got this piece of wall and it's got some sapwood in it. Uh, checked up on the ends right here. I found a spot right here. I'm gonna try and we'll cut it there and it's and there. It's about 14 inches. However, my mallet's not gonna be 14 inches, but that's I'll fix it where I can build a mallet within that. And then uh we'll just see how it goes. So right now I'm gonna take my chop saw and miter saw and cut it to length and then uh, we can go from there. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Ah, uh, that ain't looking too good, is it? And we'll go ahead and mark the center up here anyway. See what that gives you. Hopefully you see that. Find you can find dead center with that, you see. And then, uh, that's still checked, isn't it? Probably need to back that. Let me go back and cut that back some more. It's checked about along there. So if that's the case, hopefully I can get... It's going to be close, but... One thing about it, time I turn the handle, that if I put the handle on this end... That might go away right there. So let me go cut that back. We need some good where it's going to be on that lathe spinning. So we're going to try to get that check out of it. Looks like it runs back to right on there. If you see what I'm talking about. So I've got it. Got just a little right there. I'm going to try to see if that won't work right there. It's not going to be near as much usable as I was hoping for but that usually the way it works so right there so let's uh, see if we can get it on laid now I have this mallet has definitely seen better days and it is time for it to retire because I got a project coming up that I need a mallet to work with my dovetails this fits good so i'm just gonna make it will be a little shorter but this handle thing i'm gonna model it right after this but what i'm gonna do is use this uh piece of walnut i found in my stash it's got some uh sapwood on it. i think it's gonna be dressed up right nice there all right so what we're going to do now is see if we can't find yeah right here right now i'm going to make it round i can get it round i go to marking it off then it ain't going to be the whole thing here and it's going to take up a lot of it but it's going to be shorter than that um, I'm planning on making it 10 inches. This in here is uh, 11 and a half. I was going to cut it off. 
so we're looking at about 10 inches so that'll be plenty so let's go ahead and make this thing round then we can do what we need to do i got a rough and gouge right here i guess i could plug the lathe in we hang might help we're gonna get us some electricity to this thing there's spiders everywhere so i'm gonna start kind of slow let's see okay anytime i do that i try to get me a little bit of protection here You don't ever know what's going to fly off her. So here we go. Got it down round. What's my right side? It's been a while since I've turned anything, so I took my time trying to get my technique and everything packed. So what I'm going to do now? I've got my uh, dividers. Is that what they call this? Oh. Anyway, I got it set on three inches. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to get everything down to three inches because that's the biggest part of the whole thing. So what I'm going to do here, we'll do, use this right here. There's something we need to do. Is uh, That's going to go away. By the time I get down to the handle, that'll be down. But uh, I did something with the tape. There it is. All right, six inches. I'm going to give myself a little room. I'm going to go six and a half. All right, that right there will represent this area right here. In other words, that starts the mallet head and this starts the handle. Six and a half inches. That right there represents that. <clears throat> so I'm going to take it to three inches or right beside it then we'll get everything down to three inches and then we'll go from there okay for this operation I need to get this thing up a little bit Let's go ahead and get that thing is moaning or something. I don't know. Oh, there's a problem. I have got it on the this is the bowl setting. Well spindle. You turn a little faster. Get out of here. You turn a little faster. What is the world? What is it? Oh, probably a, where, there it is. So you, you spin on turn you turn a little faster. What it is when you slow it down, same amount of current going through there, and it causes it to get hot, so you need two speeds with the VFD we got. All right, let's try that right there and see if it's something that. Let me get it all down to three inches. All right. 
All right, that's much better. All right, let's do a little measuring now. Uh, I got these three inches, and I was going to take, and where was that? It's going six and a half here. That would, uh, I'm going to taper the head just a little bit. Uh, so six and a half. If I go six, that'd be right there. That'd be four inches right there. This would be the end of the mallet right there. And it's just about where I want that. But I was going to taper it just a little bit. Let's see. See if I tapered that thing. Let's tape it a half inch. It might be a lot. next uh, area would be see if I was sitting like this okay my next one we'll bring it down to let's get this right here get it down all down to that point there and then Kind of taking shape in it, so I'll do a little marking off right here. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? That thing is sitting like that. It's almost right there. Okay, right there is the lowest point, and here's the highest point of that. Here's the lowest point of that, and that's the end of the. Let's see where I'm at. Okay, so this point right here, I have no way to hold it up there where y'all can see it. Let's go to that point right there right now. All right, and that's, yeah, that's that one right there. So let's go ahead and take it down.
It's almost there, wasn't it? All right. I bet that was loud. I blew it on the mic. All right, this right here. That one's a little bigger, but I'm going to make him the same size. So that would be this one and this one. Take a spindle gap snail work on it. <laughs> Make sure I didn't mismeasure anything. Also, when you check it fit, yeah, it's going to be fine. Hey, it's going, I think it's going to work. Yeah, okay. Now, it's going to be, it's actually right. That's the end of it right there. Let's see. Now what you thinking? Let me see if I can't get that. Yeah, nearly took it out. Now I think I'm just gonna sand. I tell you, hold on. Before we get too far, let me take this down a little bit further. Kind of tell, you kind of tell I hadn't. Between everything else we had going on, this ain't been on the lathe in a while, and it kind of shows. Usually, I can make a better finish than that. Let's see if I can't. Uh, I got it roughed in. I need to take that on out. It'll never last. Let me see. Dang it. All right. Let me, let me see. Let me get that off. I think the same. Yeah. 
So let's sing a little bit more. So therefore, we've got it sanded down close enough for a mallet. I mean, you know. But I'm going to seal the wood. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, I'm going to use... Uh, I got this shellac I make up with some shellac flakes. And this is a two-pound cut here. Uh, this don't have to be, but... Uh, a lot of time cutting boards, so I guess this is food safe, if you know what I mean. So, and it'll kind of seal the wood up too. What I'll do, I'll take a saw and cut cut each end off. Now I'll get on my sander sand the ends up and I got me some stuff to uh, wrap that handle where you can get a good grip on it probably put some of that around it yeah that's pretty it is it's, it's a nice piece we got a laser something on it well I was going to put on the end of it my logo I got to do something on the front of it what do you mean on the front of it I guess it wouldn't sit there too good with it. Well, it's it's going to get beat on. Now it get wrapped up. It needs to be on the tail of the head one. Up here, you get more room. You sure you can hit something with that pretty thing? Well, that's what I'm making it for. Uh, so I can make dovetails. That's kind of what I was looking at. Okay. It is pretty sharp, though, ain't it? Look at that. It is pretty sharp. It's beautiful. <laughs> I can turn one end off, or I'll get it real close, super close, and then no. Uh, I'll finish it off with a saw. I've been needing a mallet for for a little while. I done wore it other than out. And I'm still thinking about making a one out of poplar. I think it would be fine. I got a couple pieces of uh see what was it? I got I'm surely I can if I glue stuff together, I got all kinds of scraps. Saw boxes up both sides off. I don't want it to go flying. There. That'll be good enough. And I'll just work him ends out and I'll be good to go. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. So let's go cut these end off. So let me see if this won't work. All right. <clears throat> okay, let me flop it around. Alright, 
then why don't we go now to the sander Well, let's see. Uh, come on down here. Get a chance for me. Stick her lobe go on it if you want to. I should. Well, let's let that dry a minute. We'll take another look at it. Kind of give us give you our final thoughts. I think these are gonna work just fine. Yeah, they're gonna work. This this thing gonna work fine. I mean, it is. The other one has been too long all all along. I don't know if I did that to make more weight, but I think this is gonna be fine. I I get on them. I get on them dovetails. Yeah, I'll be able to pair. Be able to pair this right out. But I've got a. I'm out it now. I'm gonna put some of that. Uh, tell you what, I have got some. Let me see if I can't find it. I had it right, right here. That's a big one, isn't it? Is that more than one? All right, let's just try this. I don't know. I can remember how to do it. Boy, that's a big one. I didn't know I had one that big. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right, let's see. Well, I ought to let that set up, but what you do is you take this around it, then you This just helps the grip. I can put it on hockey sticks, <clears throat> but I'm going to make sure that sets up. I don't know. It, it won't matter. Let's go on and try it. I always take it off. Make one lap around it when you get one lap around it and that thing don't want to do right all right there it goes what you do you get up back on here now all right now all right when you get to there you just spin it can y'all see that R? We're gonna spin this thing. Huh? 
All right, and what you do is you, you send it around it, and that makes a grip where you can really grab a hold of that thing. See, like that right there. All right, and then what you do then, come back here. I got a, oh, there we go. It's a little gawky, but I'll tell you what, that really... Let's see it up close. It really helps the grip. Man, you, you hammering all day long? That'd be nice right there. So I've got me a carving mallet. Man, I can sit here and go town. Yes, sir. I, I got me a mallet now. And I don't think it's going to wear out like, like a piece of pine. So I think that's got it. Now, if y'all checked out my shirt, my wife on me, want me to talk about these shirts. Well, I've got Sawdust Solution. Sir, look at the size of that one. Man, it'd be hard to sneak up on somebody going back or joining. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I think she's wanting to sell these things when she gets everything like she wants it. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll let you know whenever we're squared away. But if you're interested in a shirt, I don't even know what she's gonna sell them for. What are you gonna sell them for, Nana? Well, twenty bucks. Twenty dollars. Just, just tell them to uh, leave us a comment. That well, way, you, I kind of know. Yeah, buying, leave us a comment and um, and we'll work it out. We'll figure something out. We ain't got all the details worked out, but but at some point, uh, I don't know. We we'll just have to work it out. I mean, it's like we was going to do a giveaway uh, when we had five hundred subscribers. Uh, we had this. Uh, scrap wood bowl poured in resin it's a real nice little bowl and we're just gonna give that thing away and we, the deeper we got into it the deeper it got uh, with all the legals and this and that and other and and while we were trying to figure out the do's and don'ts this and that's and the legals and because you ain't careful you get they'll they'll send you home or turn you off and all that kind of stuff it blowed right by 500 you know we're at six something now so we're just hoping we can get all these details worked out when i get to a thousand we'll we'll figure out something and we will give something away that everybody be proud of we just have to figure figure this out uh we don't know anybody that has gone through this personally where it's a hey whoa what's up here so we're trying to piecemeal it all together. I mean, it's kind of a big deal, but you got to have all them T's crossed and them I's dotted. If not, you're going to wish you had all the T's crossed and I's dotted, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I did set up a Facebook page, Sawdust Solutions with Buck. It's, we got a Facebook page yeah, now. So it's open to the public. And I put a few videos on there, and I'm just playing with that. But you should be able to send us comments on that. Mess messenger or something yeah, like messenger. that. Yeah, messenger. I would think. If you did that, that that'd be real quick, and it'd be more private. Like in the comments, everybody can see it. See, you really don't want to put all your personal information there. I mean, it's just not a good idea. So that might be an avenue to get us going until we can figure all this stuff out but anyway what colors you got nana just blue blue with white logo and the one on the back my granddaughter did some what do you call it she did on them shirts cricket well vinyl yeah you know we put a press her her logo wasn't near as big but uh 
I don't know what what is this. This is this vinyl or a screen? It's screen printed. Screen printed. All right. So, okay. If one's better than another, I don't know. Trophies and more in Benton. We give them a shout out. Yeah. Real Trophy, nice people. Trophies and more, Benton, Tennessee. Real nice people. Man, that's gonna be good. I'm we, telling you. That tell them about the cup. Cup. Well, we got a cup. We put a logo on it. Lost you, it. You know, it's a uh, powder coated black, and then of course, time it. You laser it and it comes through. It's real shiny. And I toted that thing around, showing it off. I don't know at the times that we can't find that dude. That dude has walked off. <laughs> we got more. We still, we still I don't another know where one. we got it. But anyway, we had a, a water cup and I, you put coffee in it, you know. But I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. Well, anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up. But th this, <clears throat> I don't know if I've mentioned it before. The reason why I'm doing this is on the dry sink, I got part one. It's going to be up the 18th. It should, or with time this airs, it should be up. <clears throat> but anyway, it's part one. It wound up being iron 16 minutes for that part one. So I decided to bite it off into the doors and the drawer and the towel holder and the finish, the finish may be a big deal. But I decided to make part two with it. So we are, uh, I needed a mallet and see it was something else I needed. I was waiting on, what was it? Well, anyway, this will get my door started. I mean, uh, the drawer, cause I plan on putting dovetails and I need something to pair out them dovetails. And uh, so that's where we're at right now. Uh, if you check out part one of the dry sink, and uh, I think it's, it's come along pretty good. It's a little heirloom that's been handed down from my wife's grandmother down to. So when we got it, wasn't it out in the shop? No, it was in the house, but. Uh, but it's got some motor oil on it, so it's it's was been it in, probably in somebody's shop. Yeah, but anyway, it was kind of rough and a lot of stuff missing. So we're we're trying to build back to where the stuff that are missing, the doors, the drawers, and that superstructure. I call it the holes, the tiles, and all. It ain't nobody's seen it. It's gone. Me and Tommy think that grandmother had it on our back porch, keeping plants and anything back there. That's well, what we think happened well, to it. I that's probably it. That's then. probably yeah. Mother had it in the bedroom. I guess Daddy wouldn't do the drawers in the door. Well, I'm trying to put all that back. It's making a pretty good video. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, re restoring old old furniture, dry sink. If you don't know what that is, that's that's where you wash your hands and stuff like that before they had in indoor plumbing. So that's what all that. Because back in her grandmother's day, it's like my grandfather. They went through the depression. And I remember as a little fella, I, I can remember uh, going to my granddad's house. They didn't have running water. They sure didn't. They had a cistern out back where, where the gutters caught water. Then they bought water to the store to drink. <clears throat> but uh, Well, i tell you a story grandmother told me. She would go and pick her lima beans and cook them. And they would, the teacher would let them all put their, because it was, their lunch pails were in tin things, and she would let them put it on or around the stove so that when lunchtime came, they all had something warm to eat. So, I mean, I remember her telling me that. That's a nice back there. Now, I know my my dad went to school. It had all all 12 grades, and it was two rooms. And, and most houses back then was bigger than this school. <laughs> There's a, a lot of garages that are bigger than this school that he went to. Of course, uh, back where they were at was in Stewart County. Uh, it went from grade 1 through 12, and I bet it went 10 students. Well, grandmother lived in Houston County. and now they, I just crossed the river. Yeah, they canned the, the limas, and that was in the wintertime, but they would can everything. And well, she would tell me she picked them. Yeah. Root cellar. Some people don't know what a root cellar is. They had, everyone had to have a root cellar. They had to survive through the winter. Well, anyway, we've rambled on enough. <laughs>
Uh, if y'all hung in here this long, I guarantee you, you're troopers. I tell you, God dang it. Or you just like to watch them nuts. <laughs> Two old folks. Oh, gosh. Well, anyway, I, I appreciate you watching. If you did hang in this, this long, uh, like and subscribe, and and uh, we'll put out some more silliness. So, uh, But here's one thing I got. I do have this. I got me a mallet now. I got me a carving mallet. Now, yeah, we're, we're good to go. So I can get back to work on my dry sink and see if I can't get part two out, and I'll be good to go. So uh, we will see y'all on the next one, and uh, God bless you, and uh, y'all be safe.